Hey everyone, welcome to That's Good Denver. I'm your host, Chris Romeo. And today I'll be doing the week eight or nine NFL predictions for this NFL season. I can't believe it's week eight or nine. And um, yes, I'll be doing week predictions. And I don't like doing week predictions as much anymore because each time I do week prediction, predictions for because the Broncos lose. But hey, how about the Broncos beating the Chiefs on on Sunday, this past Sunday. Wow. Yeah, the Broncos are starting to turn their season around. Maybe it looks like they beat the Packers 19-17 to a couple weeks ago. Our defense played pretty dang good that game, even though, you know, we barely beat a crappy Packers team. But I was very surprised. We absolutely dominated Mahomes. Mahomes played like crap because he was sick. But that, you know, doesn't make an excuse. We beat the Chiefs for the first time since 2015 when we won the Super Bowl. So... I had a feeling Russell Wilson would beat the Chiefs one of these times because he is having a good year. And, uh, you know, even though his defense and the rest of the team hasn't helped out Russell Wilson, you know, we're 3-5 and five and, you know, maybe we can start turning our season around. Uh, you know, we might have to beat the Bills next week or something. I'll, get, I'll also do a Broncos recap video because I haven't done that in a few weeks. I'll do a recap of the Packers and Chiefs game, and that works out perfectly because the Broncos are on a bye this week. And, uh, yeah, and also the Denver Nuggets, even though they lost on Wednesday, are the reigning NBA champions for the first time ever. They're 4-1 and one right now. They got their first in-season tournament game tonight. But I'll talk more about the Nuggets and Broncos in another video, but let's get to these week nine NFL predictions. So um, starting off, uh, I didn't do the Titans-Steelers game. Steelers won 20-16. That game went exactly as I expected, but I won't count that. Um, first up, we got the Dolphins at the Chiefs in an international game. This is a great game. Too bad it's Sunday morning when a lot of people will be sleeping. But, yeah, the Dolphins, their offenses look phenomenal phenomenal this season. Um, they're 6-2 and two right now. It uh, looks like they might win their division, even though it's still early. Meanwhile, the Chiefs, uh, they were playing really great football, won six in a row until they lost to the Broncos and kind of crapped the bed. I could easily see the Dolphins winning this game, especially since it's an international game. But I'm going to have to go... I'm going to have to go with the Chiefs in this one. I could see the Dolphins, but I'm going to go with the Chiefs. I think this is a bounce-back game for them. Uh, I think it's going to be really close, high scoring too. But final score, I have Chiefs 31... Or, excuse me, Chiefs 34, Dolphins 31. Next up, we got the Bills and the Bengals. I think this is, might be a Sunday night game. I, I think this is a Sunday night game, yeah. Uh, the Bills at the Bengals. The Bills have been up and down so far this year. Um, they beat the Buccaneers a couple weeks ago, 24-18, uh, to 18, a close game that came down to a Hail Mary. That didn't go. Meanwhile, the Bengals are starting to pull together some. They're starting to get some wins. Their offense is clicking a little bit more. Jamar Chase is getting really involved in that offense. He's been going off for my fantasy team. I mean, going off for that offense. I could see the Bills winning this game, but I'm going to have to go with the Bengals. They're at home, and I just think the Bengals are playing better right now than the Bills. The Bills have been a little inconsistent, and it'll be interesting to see how the Bills match up against the Broncos on Monday Night Football next weekend. But final score, I have the Bengals winning. Bengals 26, Bills 23. Next up, you got the Chargers taking on the Jets in Monday Night Football. Um, this should be a pretty decent game. Um, the Chargers, you know, they've been a little inconsistent so far this season, but they blew out the Bears the other night, and Justin Herbert looked really good. If Aaron Rodgers was playing for the Jets, I would take definitely take the Jets in this game, but Aaron Rodgers isn't playing for the Jets and he's out for the season. And the Jets, they've had some wins. They beat the Giants in overtime, but they've been up and down. So that's why I'm taking the Chargers on the road here, I, just because Justin Herbert is a much better quarterback than Zach Wilson. Final score, Chargers 24, Jets 20. Then next up, you got the Commanders heading into New England to take on the Patriots. This might be the worst game of the week, uh, Commanders at Patriots. Neither teams are very good. Um, the Commanders started off good. They start off 2-0, but have not looked good since they beat the Broncos. Sam Howell has had his moments. Um, meanwhile, the Patriots, you know, they've uh, 
I thought they were going to be a little better, but they've really sucked this year too. Just as bad. The, the Patriots are in the same exact situation as the Broncos. They haven't been good since Tom Brady left, and the Broncos have been trash ever since Peyton Manning left. Um, I think the Patriots win this game in a low-scoring game. I, I don't see why the Patriots don't win this game, but I think Patriots win. Final score, 13-10. to Next up, you got the Cardinals taking on the Browns in Cleveland. I'm sorry, Cardinal fans, even though I'm changing the subject, but it's been a rough week for Arizona sports with the Diamondbacks losing in the World Series, uh, getting crushed in the World Series, and the Suns losing twice this week to San the San Antonio Spurs and women Yamba. But anyway, Cardinals at Browns. I don't see why the Browns don't win this game, even if they're injured. Um, Nick Chubb is out for the season, but Deshaun Watson, if he plays, he's been playing well. Final score of the Browns win at 30-13. 30-13. Then next up, you got the Seahawks taking on the Ravens in Baltimore. This is actually a really good game. Uh, Seahawks have been just finding ways to win games. They haven't been blowing out anyone out of the water. Geno Smith has looked look good, but they beat the Browns last week. They're just finding ways to win games, which is, which is good. And the Ravens, they're, they have about the same record. They're 6-2. and two. Uh, Seahawks are 5-2. and two. I could honestly see the Seahawks winning this game, but the Ravens are at home, and I think they're, Lamar Jackson is a lot better than Geno Smith running the ball. I just think they're gonna, he's going to run it all over them. Wouldn't be surprised if the Seahawks win, but I'm going to have to take the Ravens at home here. Um, final score, I have Ravens 27, Seahawks 23. The next up, you got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers heading into Houston to take on the Texans. I expect both the Buccaneers and the Texans to be really bad this year, but they've just, they've overperformed. Uh, Buccaneers, they've made it close against the Buffalo Bills the other night. Um, they look, they don't look that bad. They're probably like three and five right now, or four and four. I could see the Buccaneers winning, but I think C.J. Stroud has been playing well and the Texans are rebuilding the right way. So I'm going to take the Texans at home here. Um, final score, I have the Texans 20, Buccaneers 17. Then next up, you got the Indianapolis Colts, uh, my hometown Colts, taking on the Panthers in, in Charlotte, uh, in North Carolina. Um, Panthers got their first win of the season last week. I can't remember who they beat, but you know they've been struggling either way this year. Bryce, Hunt, Bryce Young has looked terrible. You know, the Colts, the Colts aren't really that good either. They started off really well by beating the Ravens. And, uh, you know, Anthony Richardson is out for the season, so that's part of the reason why the Colts have been struggling lately. But Jonathan Taylor should be able to run all over that Panthers defense. Jonathan Taylor's been doing good, so that's why I'm taking the Colts at home here. Wouldn't be surprised if the Panthers win, but I'm going to have to go with the Colts. Um, final score, it's, I'm going to have Colts 23, Panthers 20. Then next up, you got the Vikings taking on the Falcons in Atlanta. Uh, Fal Vikings have been playing a lot better lately, but too bad Kirk Cousins is out for the season. That's a devastating blow for a team that already lost Dalvin Cook this offseason. And uh, Justin Jefferson is pretty much their only source of offense, depending on even if the backup quarterback can throw him the ball. Meanwhile, the Falcons, uh, they've been losing a little bit lately, but I think they're still a pretty decent team Desmond Ritter and uh Drake London you know that's a really good connection right there Desmond Ritter has been playing well at quarterback so I'm going to take the Falcons at home here um uh, wouldn't be that surprised if the Vikings won but I think the Falcons win this one final score I have uh I'll say final score I have Falcons 26 uh Vikings 20 Falcons win by two field goals then next up, you got the Chicago Bears heading to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Um, the Bears, you know, they're fighting. They're kind of tanking for that number one or number two draft pick. They're going to get this. It hasn't really been their year, but they're going to get good draft picks. Um, the Saints, I think they're an all-around better team. Shout out to my friend Dylan, who's a Saints fan. Yes, uh, the <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Um, yeah, he, he likes the Saints, but... Yeah, the Saints have been pretty good. I think they have an all-around good team. Um, 
they're uh, I guess they're four and four right now, but I could easily still see them winning the division. I think it's going to be between the Falcons and Saints who win that division. The Saints are all around much better team than the Bears, so that's why I'm taking the Saints here. Final score: I have Saints 34, Bears 17. The, then uh, next you got the LA Rams taking on the Packers and Green Bay. Um, the Rams, you know, they still have a good foundation, still have a good team, but they just have not been winning games. They're three and five right now. I expected better from them. Um, and you know, uh, Matthew Stafford, he's looked okay, but you know, uh, Cooper Cup hasn't even been going off that much. It's kind of a dumpster fire with the Rams right now because um, they just won won the Super Bowl two years ago, but then have been looked pretty bad ever since they won the Super Bowl. But the Packers, you know, they've been looking really bad. They're like they're two and five right now. They lost to the Broncos in a game they could have easily won. They lost, got killed to the Vikings last week. So that's why I'm taking the Rams here. I uh, wouldn't be that surprised if the Packers won since they're at home. But I'm going to take the Rams here. Final score, I got uh, fi- final score. I got Rams 27, Packers 17. Then next up, you got the Cowboys and the Eagles in a great game. Cowboys are five and two right now. Um, their defenses still look good. They absolutely destroyed the Rams last week. Um, and Dak Prescott's been playing well. C.D. Lamb's been going off. Uh, the, those C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott are develop, developing some great chemistry. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they squeaked by the Commanders last week. It looked like they're going to lose for a while, but. Uh, Jalen Hurts still looked really good, and A.J. Brown had an amazing one-hand catch in the end zone. I could see the Cowboys winning this game easily, but I think it's going to be a close, high-scoring game, going back and forth, but I have the Eagles winning this game in a thriller. Final score, I have Eagles 37 and Cowboys 34. Yeah, high-score game, 37-34. And, yeah, I, oh, there's one more game I need to predict. Uh... Last game, the Giants at the Raiders. Um, so the Giants, uh, they lost a heartbreaker to the Jets last week in a very low-scoring game in overtime. Um, they have not looked good at all this year. I expected a lot more out of Daniel Jones because he had a great year last year. Meanwhile, the Raiders, just as expected, you know, uh, losing losing Derek Carr has de- definitely hurt him. But Jimmy Garoppolo has not been playing bad. Devontae Adams still putting up good numbers. And Jacoby Myers has been going off for them. I don't think I don't see how the Giants win this game. I want the Giants to win this game because I think that would help the Broncos a lot. And I want the Jets to beat the Chargers, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I think the Raiders are going to win this game uh, easily. It'll be a close, but I think they win. Final score: Raiders twenty-four, Giants seventeen. But after those predictions, the standings will look like this. You got the Chiefs at seven and two, cruising in their division, uh, with the Chargers, Raiders, and Broncos fighting for the second place or a wild card spot. Then you got everyone in the playoffs in the AFC North in the playoffs. You got the Ravens, Steelers at five seed, Browns at six seed, Bengals at in last place to even have a playoff spot. That the AFC North is the best division of football. You know, the Jaguars are 6-2, and two. Colts and Texans, Texans, and even the Titans aren't doing too bad. Um, but it looks like the Jags will win that division. And you got the Dolphins still in first place, cause I, and the Bills. Uh, they'll still stay in first place because I have the Bills losing the Bengals this week. They're both 5-4, they're and four, same with the Jets. And on the NFC side, um, got the Eagles at 8-1. and one. Not much of a surprise there. The Vi- Cowboys at 5-3. and three. They're still playing well, and the Giants and Commanders, as expected. The Lions at six and two. I think they've been looking really good this year. Uh, and they got the Vikings at four and five. Packers and Bears really struggling. They got the 49ers in first place at five and three. They have been struggling a lot lately. They have started off great at five and zero. Oh, then they've lost to the Vikings. They lost to the Bengals at home. They have not been looking good. The Seahawks are even catching them for the division lead right now. Then you got the Saints. And Falcons tied for first place. Saints got that last playoff spot. The Falcons have the tiebreaker over the Saints right now because within the division. I don't even know if the Falcons beat the Saints this year, but yeah, it looks like either the Falcons or Saints will win that division. And yeah, those are my uh, 
week nine NFL prediction. So yeah, thank you all to watching this video, my week nine NFL prediction. Sorry, I haven't been posting in a while, but I will get some Broncos recap videos to you shortly once I find some time around homework and other priorities in my life. But that's it, everybody. I'm Chris Romeo. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, go Nuggets tonight. The in-season tournament starts, and the Nuggets need to keep playing well and uh, get some help around Yoka and Murray, and hopefully the Broncos can make a run in the regular season, make their first ever playoff spot in a very long time. But who knows? Uh, that's it, everybody. I'm Chris Romeo, and that's good Denver.